Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Army needs 1750 futuristic infantry combat vehicles FICVs with state of art weapons and capable of swiftly transporting soldiers through a new Make in India project in the years ahead. The army had issued RFI on 23rd June 2021 to identify the probable Indian vendors who are capable of commencing supply of the tracked FICVs within two years of the contract being inked. The expected cost of the project is estimated to be around rupees 60,000 crore. As per the RFI, the tracked FICVs will be employed for cross-country operations, including amphibious ones in plains, deserts, as well as mountainous terrain and high altitude areas up to 5,000 meters. The FICVs should have a weapon systems capable of destroying enemy tanks, armored personnel carriers, low-flying helicopters, and other ground-based weapons platform and positions. The tracked vehicle should provide protected mobility to its crew and troops in different terrain, including CBRM, that is chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear environment. The Army also wants FICV to be equipped with at least a 30mm main gun, minimum 30mm auto grenade launcher, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, 4 ready to fire 4th generation anti tank guided missiles, besides being capable of carrying at least 8 soldiers. The FICV should have capability to carry loitering munitions and mini drones. The Indian Army has proposed three stages induction model for the FICV. In stage 1, the limited seize of the vehicle will be delivered over a period of 2 years. The LSP will cover 10% of the total number of vehicles, that is 350 vehicles. In stage 2, further improvements will be made in the FICV. It will cover 40% of the total number of vehicles, that is 700 FICV will be delivered over a period of 6 to 7 years. In stage 3, Further improvements will be made in the vehicle and remaining FICVs, that is 700 of them, will be delivered. After the responses to RFI is received, the acceptance of necessity will be issued followed by RFP, that is request for proposal. Now, we have already reported that on 22nd December, DAC has given acceptance of necessity for 480 FICV for Rs 20,000 crore. DRDO and LNT is also working on development of an infantry combat vehicle whose model was unveiled during the Defence Expo 2022, which seems to be the front runner for Indian Army's FICV requirement. The FICV hull looks similar to the Abhay ICV, however, there has been significant changes made to it. The Research and Development Establishment Pune, the lab of DRDO, has developed a composite armored hull for the ICV which matches the structural and ballistic performance of a metallic hull but with 35% weight reduction. The hull comprises of monocoque top and bottom parts manufactured in e-glass epoxy using vacuum assisted resin transfer modeling or VARTM process. Side walls of the hulls are provided with ceramic composite armor for protection against 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds. This hull has been integrated with automotive aggregates and associated batronies. The composite hull developed as a replacement of metallic hull of ICB away matches the structural and ballistic performance with the metallic counterpart. It is 35% lighter than its metallic counterpart. The e-glass epoxy structure with ceramic faced integral armor is applied on sites for ballistic protection, each top and bottom parts are monocoque structures. The ICV has minimized part count. The major feature of LNT FICV is going to be unmanned modular turret made up of composite armor, which drastically reduces its weight and can be upgraded in future if needed. It features a 30mm main gun with 200 rounds ready to fire and a coaxial 7.62 machine gun with 1000 rounds ready to fire. 
It will also have two launchers for fifth generation fire and forget anti tank missiles. The FICV will also have six smoke grenade launchers. It will feature third generation thermal imaging stabilized sight and laser rangefinder. The remotely controlled weapon system will feature advanced integrated fire control system for all the weapons. The vehicle will have SNAG level 4 protection. Now, Jains has also reported that Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited AVNL, has also proposed an FICV, which is a new design and not based on Russian BMP 2. The vehicle will feature a remote control weapon station with a 30mm main gun, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, a 5th generation anti tank guided missile, a 30mm automated grenade launcher, driver's night sight, commander's panoramic sight, and can even launch lottery munition. It will be powered by a 600 horsepower engine with automatic transmission and will have an overall weight of 23 tons. The FICV will be able to carry 11 soldiers. It will offer protection up to Stenag level 4 and will be equipped with laser warning system and active protection system. The FICV will be air conditions with blast attenuating seats and improved suspension. The Tata Motor Lead Consortium has also proposed tracked FICV. Tata has also offered an 8x8 build FICV based on WAP platform. However, this does not fit into RFI as it clearly states that the requirement is for the tracked ICV. Other contenders include BML, Mahindra Group, Ashok Leyland, Reliance and Bharat Forge. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.